Hey guys, Zerdex here and finally I'm back. Many of you guys must have a lot of questions and I'll try to answer all of them. As you guys know, my YouTube channel was suspended for a second time. Now, what exactly did I do? Well, apparently the reason YouTube suspended my channel was because it's due to the repeated violations of YouTube's community guidelines. But the thing is, when someone violates the YouTube guidelines, they get a strike on their channel. And when you get three strikes, the channel is suspended. And the weird thing is that my channel never even had one strike. So it's impossible for it to be suspended for repeated violations when I never even had one violation and it also states that I had spammed, used deceptive practices and that I had scammed. The thing is, I never did any of that. So if I never did any of these types of violations, then why was my channel suspended? Well, I personally think it's because someone or maybe a group of people kept mass flagging my videos as spam, deceptive practices and scam. It's very easy for someone to report a channel for scam. Anyone can do it. And I believe this person had mass flagged a lot of my videos until the YouTube bot thought that I had done these violations and had automatically suspended my channel without even reviewing it first. So my YouTube channel got suspended for something that I had not done. The reason it took so long for getting my channel back is because the only way a person can even try to get their channel back is by filling an appeal form. Once a person fills out their appeal, it takes one to three days for someone from YouTube to review it. Whenever I would send an appeal, I would get a reply in either less than an hour or less than five minutes. Now the reply states that they have reviewed the appeal and they have decided to keep my channel suspended. Now, this actually was not human. I got this reply from a YouTube robot. There is no way a person can respond that fast. Since I have done nothing wrong and I have got my channel back, it's obvious that YouTube did not review my appeal and they simply gave me an automated message. After its reply, it states I cannot appeal for a second time. But there is a way. Someone told me this, but you have to wait two weeks before you can send another appeal. And after those two weeks, you send an appeal and hopefully it will get reviewed by a person. So I waited two weeks and I tried again and the same thing happened. I got a reply from the YouTube bot with the exact same message and less than an hour. So I waited again another two weeks and got a reply from the bot and this kept happening over and over until three months have passed and my channel was still suspended. I believe that because I had such a small channel, YouTube simply just gave me an automated message as they just did not care. The whole situation was stressful. I also asked YouTube's Twitter team to help me out and again just like last time they simply ignored me and this is because I'm a small channel with a small following on Twitter. I have seen YouTube's Twitter team help out a big YouTuber in the past. I'm a big fan of I Hate Everything and when his channel got suspended, similar to my own, he asked YouTube's Twitter team and they gave him his channel back. But because I'm a small channel, they simply ignored me. This just shows how YouTube simply does not care about the small channels. My friends even told me to simply quit YouTube and even I wanted to quit as well as no one would help me out and YouTube would not even manually review my channel. But I also did not want the hard work and the long hours I wasted making the videos to go to waste. Also, I have to thank a lot of my Twitter followers for sending tweets to YouTube to review my channel. But of course, YouTube simply ignored them. I just want to say for those of you who did send messages to YouTube and to myself on Twitter, thank you. I'll never forget what you did and I really appreciate it. You guys actually gave me hope. So a lot of you guys might be wondering how on earth did I get the channel back? Well it's actually thanks to one person and his name is Ben, the trusted flagger. You see, I had contacted him after a while, he actually listened. He sent a message to YouTube and... After a couple of weeks, they were able to get me my channel back. So it's all thanks to Ben that my channel was able to return. And if my channel ever gets suspended like this and the last time for no reason, I will simply contact Ben and he will just help me get my channel back. The worst part of all of this was that while my channel was suspended, someone even stole my videos and uploaded them on their channel. And I wonder 
if they were the ones that mass flagged my channel. Well, that's the whole story about what happened. I saw a lot of people asking what happened to Zerodex. Now, for those of you guys who don't follow me on Twitter, I suggest you do. If anything like this ever happens again, I'll be sure to let everyone know the reason on Twitter. Again, be sure to follow me on Twitter to stay up to date on what's happening. Also, I bought Digimon Hacker's Memory recently and I have not yet played it as I'm simply too busy with trying to get my channel back and with other things. So I was wondering, would you guys like to see a let's play of me playing Digimon Hacker's Memory? Also, I need your help as YouTube was my only source of income, which was really stupid. And when my channel got suspended, I was in a bad situation. And since right now I barely make anything, I was wondering if you guys could support me on Patreon. That's right, I have made a Patreon and any amount that you guys would give me is great. I know I'm asking for too much, but I really need your help. This whole situation has been a nightmare. I am annoyed with the fact that YouTube does not care about the small channels. It's almost impossible to even get your channel back, but somehow I was able to get it back twice. I think the real reason YouTube simply does not care is because they don't really have a competition, so they can do whatever they want, as they know the smaller channels will just simply try to come back to YouTube. But here's the thing, there might be a rival to YouTube. Apparently Amazon is making Amazon too, so hopefully YouTube does start treating its smaller channels with some respect, as if not, I'm pretty sure a lot of them will just simply move to Amazon too, and YouTube will lose a lot of money. And while my channel was suspended, I did actually think of a lot of ideas for future videos. Before the channel got suspended, I was making an Omnimon vs Alphamon video. And I will be making more versus videos. And also, I'm learning how to create sprite battles, similar to death battle and all those Dragon Ball sprite fights. Also, while my channel was suspended, I did focus more on the story. Now, this will be a written story with some images, but I wanted to make sprite fights for the story. I even have two sprites for Cypher, thanks to Gear Second Bike and Don't At Me. So in the future, I'm going to try and make sprite battles for my story with the monsters, similar to all those Dragon Ball sprite fights. I think it will be more enjoyable to watch the sprite battles than actually reading it. I want your opinion, what do you guys think about that? Would you be happy with seeing sprite battles? Anyways, I've missed a lot of Digimon news and oh boy, there's a lot of catching up to do. Thanks for watching, hopefully you guys support my Patreon, the link will be in the description and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!